Hi, my name is Heather the Heat Hardy, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. This is Amanda the Real Deal Serrano, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm Janita, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we had the highly anticipated heavyweight title rematch between Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder and Tyson the Gypsy King Fury take place about two Saturdays ago, right? Uh, with that said, uh, that took place February 22nd, um, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding this fight. Obviously, Tyson Fury uh, is having um, a lot of negative feedback for his glove situation. Okay, his left glove uh, is dangling. You can clearly see his knuckles in the wrist area. You know, um, his glove is definitely not all the way on his hand. Uh, you can see a referee in his fight with Christina Hammer, Christian Hammer, you know, um, forcing Tyson Fury before the fight even takes place, delaying the fight to while Tyson Fury is in the ring, just before they meet in the center of the ring. The referee tells Tyson Fury he has to change his left glove entirely because there was the left glove was tampered with. And it's, this delayed the fight. Okay, so with that said, uh, sources, multiple sources have told me that allegedly Tyson Fury is having, they had issues with his original A sample and they're waiting for the results of the B sample to come back in his testing with Vada, you know, the, the WBC automatically enrolls anybody that's representing their sanctioned body to be enrolled in the clean boxing program. It's the Vada testing. And allegedly, I have to say allegedly, multiple sources have told me that and come out and inform me that there's issues with the A sample of Tyson Fury's A sample, and they're waiting for the B sample results to come out. This is not a good look. We know that Tyson Fury, after his fight with Vladimir Klitschko, failed test and was ultimately suspended for two years. And now, and on top of that, his cousin, also failed for the same thing at the same time. And now this has surfaced. I don't know how, how many people have been informed of this. Uh, I don't know, you know, um, how true this, how true this is to what extent, but I know the sources that inform me are credible sources that it's a possibility there could be an issue. Well, there's definitely an issue with the A sample and they're waiting for the results of the B sample to come back. Uh, this is not a good look. This is not a good look. Uh, all the way around, you know, um, the situation with this glove situation. Uh, and now this, so he fell for Benzel, Benzel Goling, Benzel Goling or something like that. I can't really pronounce it. B-E-N-Z-O-Y-L-E-C-G-O-N-I-N-E. -E. Uh, this was back immediately following his, his fight with, that, with Vladimir Klitschko. This was back in 2016. Okay. And now... You know, uh, this comes out. This is just not a good look all the way around for the sport of boxing. Uh, you don't hear mainstream media making any mention of the glove situation, but we hear um, everything surrounding Deontay Wilder when he said that his suit was, was heavy, you know, and it took a toll on his legs. You heard ESPN. You heard mainstream media, Fox, you hear all of these networks uh, stating that Deontay Wilder said that his suit was too heavy and took a toll on his legs. But yet we have all of this proof 
and all of this evidence that Tyson Fury tampered with his left glove, and yet you hear no mention of this being made on mainstream media, quote unquote. Okay? Um, like I stated, Tyson Fury, you know, uh, failed tests before. This is not the first time, right? Uh, back in 2016, I'm going to read this. This letter is to advise you that the A sample urine specimen number 406253 collected from Tyson Fury on September 22nd, 2016 in Lancaster, England, through his participation in voluntary anti-doping uh, association VADA program has been analyzed for anabolic agents uh, diuretics beta 2 uh, agonists uh, stimulants and drug of abuse the results of our uh, analysts are as follows adverse urine specimen contains uh, benzoin benzoin right uh Mr. Fury has the right to promptly request analysts of the B sample at his expense. So this was back right after immediately following the Vladimir Klitschko fight. Okay. Uh, now we have a situation where there's a possibility of issues with the A sample in this fight with Deontay Wilder and they're waiting on the results of the B sample. So, you know, uh, if this is the case, this is a huge fight for the sport of boxing. We already have this situ situation and the issue with the glove. And if this bolts to be true and holds up, this could be a serious black eye to the sport of boxing. It truly can. And I'm truly hoping as a fan of the sport of boxing that this is not, there's no truth in it, that this is a mistake. I'm truly hoping that because I'm a longtime fan of the sport of boxing. And if this is the case, this fails the fans. You can't have a fight of this magnitude with black clouds hanging over it. You have the left glove situation that has been proven in both fights and previous fights. You can see Tyson Fury having issues with the left glove and it's always the left glove. Not to mention if Tyson Fury already failed a test with Vladimir Klitschko, which was the biggest fight of his career, and now going into the second biggest fight of his career, there's another issue with the testing. That's not good. That's not good. And this fight was promoted heavily. This fight was all over. This fight was promoted during the Super Bowl. This fight was promoted, you know, on mainstream media, heavy Fox, ESPN. Uh, I saw it on CBS. I saw it in um, stores like Target. Uh, it was in Buffalo Wild Wings. This this fight was promoted everywhere. It's being reported that the possibility could have been over 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. That's great numbers. It broke the live gate for heavyweights, right? That was held by Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield rematch. So there's so much positive that as a fan, you don't, you just don't want there to be any negative. And so I'm hoping that this is just a mistake. I'm truly hoping that. So let's see how this all plays out. But I have multiple sources, that credible sources, that's telling me to hold on to my seat because there could be even bigger news coming out, bigger than this glove situation regarding the test of Tyson Fury. They're saying that there could be possibly allegedly some issues with the A sample and they're waiting for the B sample. So privately, it seems like uh, they're contesting it and want, it, want the B sample checked because the, the person involved, the fighter involved, can request for his B sample to be tested if they believe there was a mistake made. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. 
Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.